banks are the best in the world, better than ever before. Every single Abrams tank in existence, the steel and the aluminum, war horse, they're really a war horse of American ground forces. Shock of the year. World's most powerful tanks. Destroy Russia in Ukraine. Can U.S. new Abrams tank beat China's and Russia's most advanced battle tanks? It's only February, and the world has experienced probably its shock of the year, the Tucker Carlson interview of Vladimir Putin. In one week of its release, it became one of the most watched interviews in history. This single interview could bring the Ukraine war to an abrupt end, or intensify the war even more. Although a path to peace was discussed. You want a negotiated settlement to what's happening in Ukraine. <laughs> right. And we made it. We prepared the huge document in Istanbul. It could also cause a wider divide between the governments of the U.S. and Russia, which seems to be the case. Therefore, the 31 M1 Abrams tanks delivered to Ukraine by the U.S. will likely get the go-ahead to strike their Russian equivalents. All of these come at a very dangerous time for tanks. Anti-tank weapons have been having quite the season. They have destroyed more tanks than fortune tellers could have told. One look at the battlefield in Ukraine is all the proof of that. Since the start of the war, Ukraine's army has destroyed almost a thousand Russian tanks. Ukrainian roads are still lined up with the burnt tank hulls, although these victim tanks are mainly older T-72 and T-80 tanks of the Russian fleet. The images in Ukraine serve as a notice that tanks aren't inherently the impenetrable fortresses they were when they dominated World Wars I and II. To dominate the battlefield today, tanks must be a lot more than they used to be. Powers of the world understood this and went straight to work. The result? An entire fleet of upgraded tanks in the fleets of the US, Germany, Russia, China, and other world powers. With not just the US, but also Germany shipping main battle tanks to Ukraine to fight Russian tanks. We must now take a close look at these tanks to see how they would fare on the battlefield, starting with the tank of the hour, the American M1. M1 Abrams, United States. The M1 Abrams is the main battle tank of the United States and a number of other nations. It entered service in 1980 and has participated in a number of major wars since then. These include the Gulf War, the Global War on Terrorism, the Yemeni Civil War, and so on. Since entering service, the Abrams has been constantly upgraded to dominate an ever-evolving battlefield. The result of these upgrades is a very different $24 million Abrams tank with the following capabilities. Armor The Abrams is protected by heavy composite armor on its front and sides, where attacks are most likely to aim. The composite armor consists of sandwich plates of non-explosive reactive armor, short form NERA, between conventional steel plates. NERA plates are elastic to allow them to flex and distort when struck. As a result, there's more material for the penetrating jets of shaped charges of the incoming weapon to drill through, ultimately reducing the damage to the armor and protecting the tank better. The Abrams is also protected by a new armor that incorporates depleted uranium, other undisclosed materials, and undisclosed layouts. Keeping crucial information about the armor undisclosed makes it difficult for non-allies to cook up an effective response to it. Supporting the tank's passive armor is a suite of active protection systems, such as the Softkill Active Protection System and the AN-VLQ-6 Missile Countermeasure Device, which emits a massive, condensed infrared signal to confuse the infrared homing seeker of anti-tank guided missiles. To top it off, inside the Abrams hull is an NPC protection system to protect the crew from nuclear, biological, and chemical attacks. Armament 
The primary armament of the Abrams is the M256 smoothbore gun, a 120mm caliber gun compatible with both the DM63 ammunition and the Layhat anti-tank guided missile, the latter offering an effective firing range of 8 kilometers, twice that of the former. The gun is designed by Rheinmetall of Germany, but manufactured under license in the U.S. by Waterfleet Arsenal in New York. The Abrams has four secondary armament to support this massive turret. They include a 50 caliber M2HB machine gun in front of the commander's hatch with a thermal sight for accurate night and other low visibility shooting. Two 7.62 mm M240 machine guns limitlessly fed from the Abrams storage of between 10,000 and 14,000 rounds. The fourth secondary armament is an optional 50 caliber M2HB machine gun mounted directly above the primary gun in a remote weapons platform. Leopard 2, Germany. The U.S.'s pledge to donate Abrams tanks to Ukraine came alongside a pledge from European nations to deliver German-made Leopard 2 tanks. The Leopard 2 tank is the main battle tank of Germany and a host of other nations. The Leopard 2 entered service in 1979 and has fought in the war in Afghanistan, the Syrian Civil War, and now the war in Ukraine. Here are the capabilities that the $30 million tank offers to the Ukrainian army. Armor The Leopard 2 is protected by spaced multi-layer armor throughout its design. The armor consists of a combination of highly ductile steel plates of different hardness, elastic materials, and other non-metallic materials. The frontal arc of the tank's armor is able to withstand large caliber kinetic energy penetrators and shapes charge projectiles. By estimates, with a maximum physical thickness of 1500 millimeters, the frontal armor would resist 125 millimeter APF SDS rounds fired from almost a mile away. The tank's side is covered by heavy ballistic and steel-reinforced armor skirts. The armor on the side and rear of the tank protects against heavy machine guns, medium caliber rounds, and other types of tank ammunition. For protection against mines, the sides of the whole floor are sloped by 45 degrees and the floor is reinforced with corrugations. Prioritizing crew safety, possible sources of fire or explosion have been moved away from the crew using blow-off panels and a purely ingenious design. In the turret, the ammunition and the hydraulics are located in compartments separated from the crew. The crew is also protected against nuclear, biological, and chemical threats via a Draeger NBC overpressurization system. Armament Like with the American Abrams, the primary armament of the Leopard 2 is the 120mm M256 smoothbore gun from Rheinmetall. The gun is fully stabilized and can fire a variety of rounds accessible to the German Army, including the Israeli Lehat anti-tank guided missile, which can engage targets from 3.5 miles away. The German DM-12 high-explosive anti-tank rounds and the German DM-43 APF-SDST anti-tank round which is capable of penetrating 22 inches of steel from over a mile away. The Leopard 2 can carry as many as 42 rounds for this gun across its ammunition storage. If an ammunition storage area is hit, a blow-off panel in the turret roof would direct the explosion upwards away from the crew compartment. For secondary weapons, the Leopard 2 is equipped with two machine guns, one mounted coaxially, the other on an anti-aircraft mount. 4,750 machine gun rounds are carried by the tank to feed these guns. For even more firepower, newer Leopard 2 tanks are capable of mounting a remotely controlled weapons station fitted with a Browning M2HB heavy machine gun. T-90 Russia Like the American Abrams and the German Leopard 2, the Russian T-90 is the third generation main battle tank for its nation's army. And for that role, it is also packed with top-level armor and armament. Armor The T-90 has a three-tier protection system. The first tier is the composite armor in the turret. The second is the Concact 5 explosive reactive armor that degrades the penetrating power of incoming projectiles. The third tier is known as Stora 1. Stora 1 consists of two electro-optical IR dazzlers on the front of the turret. 
four laser warning receivers, two 3D6 smoke grenade discharging systems, and a computerized control system. The Shatora-1 system manages a number of active defenses on the tank, from alerting the crew when the tank has been painted by a weapon guidance laser, to automatically launching the smoke grenades to mask the tank from laser paint. In addition to these protection systems, the tank is also protected by nuclear, biological, and chemical protection equipment, KMT mine sweeps, and an automatic fire suppression system. Armament The primary armament on the T-90M is the 2A46M 125mm smoothbore tank gun, packed with 43 rounds of either, or a combination of, armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabo, high-explosive anti-tank rounds, and 9M, 119M reflex anti-tank guided missiles. The latter, the reflex missile, has semi-automatic laser beam riding guidance and a tandem hollow charge heat warhead. It can take out targets from almost four miles away and drill through 37 inches of steel armor in the process. The T-90's secondary armament includes a 12.7mm cord heavy machine gun and the 7.62mm PK machine gun. The Abrams and Leopard 2 together against the T-90 is quite the matchup, but there's a likely addition to this bout that is worth mentioning. This addition on the side of Russia's T-90 is the Type 99A from China. Type 99A, China the Type 99A main battle tank is China's first mass-produced third-generation main battle tank. The 55-ton tank entered service in 2001 and has since been upgraded. Today, it packs a mighty armor and wields powerful armament. Armor The suit of armor protecting the Type 99A includes a modular armor, composite panels, track skirts, a nuclear biological chemical protection system, a fire detection and suppression system, and an explosive reactive armor that provides protection against tandem charge warheads. In addition, the Type 99A features an active protection system and multiple countermeasure systems, including a laser warning receiver system, 12 81mm smoke grenade launchers, a smoke screen, and a laser-based self-defense weapon with an effective range of 13,000 feet. Armament the main armament on the Type 99A is a 125mm gun with an autoloader that enables the gun to fire up to 10 rounds in a minute. This gun is capable of firing a range of Chinese, Russian, and ex-Warsaw-packed ammunition, including the APF SDST, HEAT, FRAG HET, gun-launched anti-tank missiles, tandem-shaped charged GP-125 ATGMs, and the 9M-119 ATGMs. The Type 99A's secondary armament consists of two machine guns, a 12.7mm QJC-88 on the commander's Coppola, and a coaxial 7.62mm Type 86 machine gun. So, there we have it. As the war in Ukraine continues to rage, as anti-tank weapons continue to make a name for themselves, tanks have become even more formidable and will now face off against one another. Or they might not, if the Tucker Carlson interview with Putin brings the war to a swift end. To end the war, thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.